we have a deep desire to be connected with others. We connect with others through technology, through simple everyday interactions, through the act of getting from one place to another. We connect in the shared joy of our favorite moments. We also connect in our shared disappointment when it's over. We all long for that connection, for meaning, for belonging, and for relationships that last. I love our small group. What I enjoy most about Alpha is the small group. I've made so many new friends. I look around on the first night and I don't necessarily think they will become friends, but they do. I look forward to seeing them each week and, and hearing their news. If any of them don't turn up, I'm disappointed not to see them. I miss them. We laugh a lot together. Sometimes we cry together and we see the look on people's faces changing. And if your experience is anything like mine, then you've already had a taste of church. Your Alpha small group is a microcosm of the church. The church includes the Alpha small group, but of course it's, it's bigger and even more amazing and beautiful. And it's so different from what I used to think about the church. Before I encountered Jesus, there were two words I associated with church, boredom and buildings. I didn't like the church, but it's interesting that for the first 300 years of the church's life, there were no church buildings. So that can't be what it's all about. These things are not the essence. It's rather like if I said, what is marriage? You could say, well, marriage is, is a ring. It's a marriage certificate. It's a wedding service. Yes, but that's not the essence of marriage. At the heart of marriage is something far more profound. And at the heart of the church is something far more amazing and beautiful and wonderful. I've come not just to like the church, I love the church. There's so much to say about church. This is just the beginning of an introduction, like dipping a toe in the water. This is not a theology of the church. This isn't even an introduction to a theology of the church. It's just a little taste. I want to encourage you to get involved and then take a lifetime to discover all the beauty, wonder, glory of the Church of Jesus Christ. By way of introduction to the Church, I want to look at some words which I now associate with Church. And they explain why I love the Church. The first is that Church is friends. In John's Gospel, Jesus says, you are my Friends, I've called you friends. I go to church when I need, need help and need someone to, to listen to me. Oh, I've always gone to church since I was a kid. Um, to get me through the week. I don't go to church. <laughs> Just to fellowship with other people in the same land as you. Uh, community is a big part of it. I like, I like kind of what it, stands for in the sense of the community and kind of what it brings. Even though I'm not a Christian, but I go to church every week because I I just love to be with people there because everyone's so caring about each, each other. It's a real privilege to be a Christian, to be friends with Jesus, to talk to him, read about him and get to know him. But not only do we have a friendship with Jesus, but Jesus calls us into relationship with one another. Yeah, and this is what's amazing about the small group on Alpha, that the way the friendships develop over the weeks. And the word used in the New Testament is koinonia. It's quite hard to translate, but it's a depth of friendship that cuts across age, ethnicity, background and culture. And I've experienced in the church a level of friendship that I've never experienced anywhere else. It's also really important to meet together because you can't be a Christian alone. The writer of Hebrews says, let's not give up meeting together, but let's encourage one another. 
Without a community of friends, we can lose our enthusiasm and it might cause our faith to dwindle. But when we come together, the fire is reignited because friends encourage one another. The second reason I love the church is that it's family. The church isn't an organisation that you join, it's a family where you belong. 1 John 5 1 says, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. You can't really say you love God but you don't like his children. That, that's the church. God is your Father and that makes you brothers and sisters. God's intention was to bring the whole human race together as a family united around Christ. The way in which we become part of the family of God it isn't by physical birth, it's by spiritual birth. Jesus talks about being born of water and the Spirit. Jesus was baptized and he commanded his disciples to baptize. Becoming a Christian involves three things. First, something God does. He gives you the Holy Spirit. Secondly, something that, that you do, that's you repent and believe. Third is something the church does, that's to baptize. Baptism is a visible mark of what it means to be a member of the church. It's a sacrament. The, the water signifies washing, cleansing from sin. It symbolizes the Holy Spirit, the rivers of living water. Jesus said, out of your innermost being will flow rivers of living water. It also symbolizes dying and rising with Christ. Let this piece of paper represent you. Imagine your name is on this piece of paper and this Bible is Jesus. Paul explains that you are united with Christ in a mystical way. All of us who are baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. Everything that now happens to this book also happens to the piece of paper. So, when Jesus died on the cross, you died. When Jesus was buried, you were buried. Your old life is gone. When Jesus rose from the dead, you rose with him to a completely new life. Jesus has saved me and became who he wanted me to be. He's helped me. The Holy Spirit doesn't change anything and he changes everything. You can bring you know, the, the kingdom values that you believe in into your work. The Son of God would have died for you if you'd been the only person. This has been my best news and I want the world to know about it. Jesus somehow picks me up. I have never known that kind of joy. I'm Emily Tata. Nilizaliwa 1989. Na nilijipata niko kwa street. Mamangu alinizaakiwa pia yeye kwa street. So alikuwa street family pia yeye. Sasa nime kwa hiyo street nimepitia maneno mingi sub from 5 years to from 5 years nilikuwa naenda gate to gate nikiomba chakula. Pata chakula ilikuwa ni shida pata nguo ilikuwa ni shida so tulikuwa tunaenda kwa garbage tunatafuta chakula kwa garbage 